This important announcement from Jack Lemmon could possibly affect the lives of every man and woman in this theater. Too long has the American man allowed himself to be bullied, coddled, and mothered, and tyrannized, and in general meant to feel like a feeble-minded idiot by the female of the species. The gentlemen in the audience may applaud if they wish. Ladies, feel free to hiss. It's the story of a man who had it made. He was a bachelor, of course, with a townhouse and a manservant, drinking pals, a club to go to, and wild adventures. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, Disaster. No more manservant. Charles! Sorry, sir, but I do not work for married couples. No more drinking pals. No more. Well, hardly anymore. The more cluttered the kitchen got, the more nervous I got. The more nervous I got, the higher my blood pressure went. The higher my blood pressure went, the more upset I got. The more upset I got, the more impossible she got. <laughs> Goodbye, money. And we're going to buy her everything from lingerie to a mink coat. Goodbye, waistline. Hey, putting on a little weight there, eh, stand boy? <laughs> Goodbye, privacy. Goodbye, everything. Well, almost everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charles, she's in love, so she's never going to agree to a divorce. So we're left with only one choice. Murder. Murder? Murder. He regretted his marriage from the very beginning and made every effort to worm his way out of it. Claire Trevor thinks I did it. It's only fair to warn you that it does not uh, look good. Eddie Mayhoff thinks I did it. But of course, you're absolutely right. Oh, what a silly, silly ninny I was not to have seen through him before. Of course he did it. And Terry Thomas thinks I did it. Now tell me, do you think I could ever possibly murder beautiful, luscious, sensual, desirable, gorgeous Vienna Lisi? Hmm? Women, warning, see this picture before he does. The wife you save may be you. <laughs> This theater will present this motion picture as a public service.